Urine marking is a form of scent marking seen across species, including in our domesticated dogs. You will often see males lifting a back leg to urinate on an object, and females squatting with one or both back legs lifted. However, there are variations in both genders. Marking is differentiated from mere urination as the behavior is accompanied by smelling the ground prior to marking and directing the urine at a specific target. Urine marking is a social behavior that communicates three main functions. Territory marking is to establish an area that a dog considers to be their own and where they feel comfortable. It can, but does not have to involve another animal. This male, having been away from his yard, marks his territory repeatedly despite no other dog having entered in his absence. A dog's urine can communicate social status and body condition to other individuals through hormone composition. This gives dogs the chance to avoid potentially harmful conflicts or encounters. In wolves, hierarchy is well established and can be conveyed through urine marking. Notice the low-ranking female showing no interest in marking compared to the alpha female and male who both mark the same tree. Lisberg and Snowden found that alpha males and females in dog park groups used urine marking more frequently than dogs found lower in the social order. McGuire found that females in heat marked more frequently, thus communicating their readiness to mate. Males will countermark an area that has been marked by a female to assert their mating right on her to other males. Urine marking can become a problem behavior in domesticated dogs, especially when it occurs indoors. Understanding the reason behind the marking behavior in your dog can help you eliminate the circumstances creating the problem. Knowing that your dog marks as a result of fear, aggression, arousal, or the scent of other dogs' urine can let you avoid marking problems in the future.